Welcome back. This is Tony Huang, the founder of Texans Technology Executives Network. With us is Lisa Kirtley, the relationship manager for Forrester Research. And uh, how are you this morning? I'm great. Great. Thank you for putting the venue together sure. on in Dallas, Texas here. Um, what does Forrester do? Picture 900 professionals, um, experts, analysts, consultants, and all they do every day is figure out ways to write documents, put teleconferences together and big events to make IT leaders successful. Um, we cover two different segments. We cover IT and all of the roles that are in involved in IT, like CIOs and security and risk officers, application and development professionals. We also have another whole sect of analysts that strictly cover marketing and strategy. So consumers and how consumers use technology, how they buy technology. Um, when they go to a website for a business to business decision, what are they looking for? What impresses them? Um, and then those two analyst groups work together to give all of our customers what they need. If it has anything to do with technology or expertise, best practices, that's what we provide. Mark is new to Forrester, extensive background not only in consulting and analyzing the, the market on compliance and policy and security and risk, but he's also been in the, the professional realm and in the role for over 11 years. Um, and Mark is really finding that where he writes is what the CISOs and what the security officers are asking for. And right now businesses are saying, you know, we have all these rules, right? We have Sarbanes-Oxley and we have HIPAA and we have all this stuff that keeps coming together. And even though the IT group gets what needs to be done from an IT perspective, the business group knows what's being expected from a paperwork perspective. How does the IT and the business align together? How do they figure out and measure and assess all of the information and come up with a plan that fits operations, that fits business, that fits the consumer data and protection issues, but also meets the compliance? And that's what we're finding our IT leaders are having a difficult time doing is how do we find the alignment? How do we get the communication back and forth on what expectation from the business and IT? And then how do we build a program that almost kind of breaks away from security and runs itself from the governance for its perspective? So Mark's dedication right now is strictly to those types of answers to those questions. And he uses case studies, he uses past experience, and then he really analyzes and touches onto leaders, asking them, surveying them constantly what they're doing. It has to be about the business expectation not just the cool stuff that IT can put together to oversee it. There has to be implementation and communication and a total buy-in by the business people and helping those CIOs know what's coming and how to prepare a culture and a performance that gets them where they need to go. Uh, for those people that couldn't make it to today's show, mm -hmm. what's your takeaway point on today's CIO panel? Today's CIO panel is I think a really good healthy balance. We have a director of IT of a manufacturer, we have a CISO officer of uh, hospital healthcare, large group, and then we have retail with Rent-A-Center, um, a, a director of security. And it's very interesting when you we really talk to them before the meeting for their roundtable, they are all dealing with exactly the same issues, no matter how extreme their verticals, you know, HIPAA and healthcare and Sarbanes-Oxley and manufacturing, and no matter what their issues, they are all challenged with a lot of the same issues that all businesses are. And that just reinforces to Forrester, you know what, we're on the right path. We're getting a general consensus. We're taking best practices and sharing them between all the verticals and empowering people to make better decisions. Well, thank you very much, Lisa, for hosting the venue.